There's something about this city. It's crispness that extends from dawn to dusk. It's vibrancy that lingers on into the stillness of the night. It's silence that's eloquent. It's vocabulary that's awe-inspiring. It's soul that reflects a rare consciousness of the global environmental challenges. And the responsiveness with which it has converted over 65,000 auto rickshaws to CNG from 2005 to 2009. Augmented its fleet of buses from 560 to 1,010 in just four years. Replaced its aged and diesel driven public transport vehicles with Euro 3 compliant CNG buses. Improved its road network and completed the missing links. Built new flyovers, river bridges, ROBs and underpasses. And in the process emerged as an environment friendly city. This is Ahmedabad, a city with consciousness. Spread over 466 square kilometers, Ahmedabad, the seventh largest city of India, is a compact city with high density and diversified land usage. It is a throbbing urban center that binds mixed income groups into one socio-cultural fabric. Six million people, 2.2 million registered vehicles, 2,398 kilometers of road network. Yet, yeah, its annual road fatalities are amongst the lowest in the country. And to top it all up, this safe city has embarked upon yet another pioneering idea. Janmarg BRTS. Janmarg, which literally means People's Way, is a citizen-centric initiative for moving people and not on individual vehicles. It is a one-of-its-kind rapid transit system for enabling citizens to travel in a safe and secure mode that's reliable, affordable, convenient and comfortable. Janmarg BRTS is not just a corridor but a scalable network. It is not an isolated project but a comprehensive program to empower people. It is not about creating a public transport infrastructure, but a core part of an integrated strategy to enhance the quality of commuting. The 89-kilometer Janmarg BRTS network would connect the railway station and the central city with outlying industrial, institutional and residential areas. However, the most significant feature of the system is that the network passes through over 80% of lower and middle income household areas. The first phase of 12.5 kilometers has already been implemented and additionally another 5.5 kilometers of network was added on a war footing to facilitate connectivity with Kankaria Lake, Ahmedabad's most happening public space. Little wonder that in just over three months, the BRTS has evolved into a lifeline of Ahmedabad. A lifeline comprising elements that are world-class and state-of-the-art. Peak hour frequency of four minutes between buses. Two median bus lanes. Split flyovers. Tree-lined corridors. Roadside resting benches dedicated cycle tracks, service lanes, dedicated and well-lit pedestrian paths, swanky bus stations with sensor-driven automatic doors, high floor Euro 3 certified 80 passenger capacity buses, specially designed buses with two wide central doors, perfect docking alignment for easy boarding and alighting convenient access for the visually and physically challenged. Off-board smart ticketing, smart card validator, smart cards for frequent commuters, 
special cards for senior citizens, students and visually challenged. Electronic passenger information system. LED panels and public announcement systems. Next Gemini station is Anjali. GPS console for real-time tracking of bus movements. Color-coded special uniforms for BRTS staff. Full-fledged driver and staff training and assessment programs. Immaculately trained and service-oriented drivers. State-of-the-art control center. And extensive use of IT applications for automatic vehicle tracking and monitoring. High-tech surveillance. Operation control. Real-time passenger information system. Traffic management. Electronic fare collection. Yet another unique facet of this system is the public-private partnership model for a wide array of functions including pay and park facilities, bus ownership and operations, fare collection, landscape development and even bus station cleaning and maintenance. Janmark BRTS is being implemented by the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation and is well supported by several other agencies such as ORDA, GIDB, City Traffic Police and the Department of Urban Development, Government of Gujarat and the Government of India under the JNURM. And what's clearly evident is the new and professional management culture that has seeped in solely due to the creation of the Ahmedabad Janmarg Limited, a special purpose vehicle and a dedicated company to manage and operate the BRTS. However, what essentially lends the entire system a touch of class is the fact that SEPT University Ahmedabad is the principal consultant for this project. In fact, implementation of Janmarg BRTS has also led to the establishment of a center of excellence at SEPT University, which has now introduced a master's degree program in urban transportation management and planning. In addition to this, lessons learnt from the Bagota model and support of international bodies like ITDP, Embark and Clean Air initiatives have gone a long way in making the BRTS a model initiative for other states of India. The success of the Ahmedabad BRTS model has also been recognized by the Government of India and it has already received an award for the best mass transit system in the country. With over 2 million people having used the BRTS in the last three months and a daily average load of 35,000 passengers, this immaculately planned and impeccably implemented system has set new benchmarks in public transit in South Asia with its wide-ranging benefits that are clearly evident and quantifiable. Improved air quality, acceptance of the system by all sections of the society, Better traffic behavior, appreciation of the system by international experts, 52% modal shift from private vehicles to public transportation, 95% increase in ridership in just three months, and above all, 100% enhanced quality of commuting. Janmarg BRTS, the lifeline of Ahmedabad.